French tanks, French tanks, French tanks, French tanks, French tanks, French tanks, French tanks. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are taking out what has to be one of the most adorable tanks of the game. Now, why does the adorableness factor of a tank actually matter in gameplay? I'll tell you why, and this is key. The ladies like the stub guns, right? So, if you've got girls in your house and you're driving a cute little tank with a stubby gun and a teddy bear on the front you're allowed to play the game more and use the family TV more often see huh huh good stats right it's called playability but in all seriousness this Hotchkiss is gonna be one of my favorite tanks in the game already it's like a it's like a little teeny baby mouse it's so adorable and the the two-man crew doesn't have to worry because the armor layout is absolutely fantastic for a tank at this rank and we'll get more into that later on we're in a 1.3 arcade battle uh, as far as I can tell and we're gonna encounter a lot of fellow Hotchkisses because obviously French tanks are hot right now and this is going to be a competitive tank for probably the, the foreseeable future. Not that rank 1 is where you should be focusing your your martial prowess as a tactical genius of War Thunder. But it is absolutely going to be a lot of fun to research low rank with this little fella. I, I just got this as a gift from Gaijin. I, did you guys get the 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 premium Hotchkiss for free this thing is so cool it's got a little bit better armor than its regular tech tree counterpart at the same battle rating <laughs> um, but of course that's gonna reduce your mobility slightly and one thing you want to note with this tank is you always want to keep your armor angled because your side armor is actually stronger than your frontal armor why do you say stronger because even though it's the same 40 millimeters it's totally flat which means you're not going to have any weak spots that can be taken advantage of. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in this battle. Again, we're going to be facing Hotchkisses. So you want to stay angled aggressively. A 45 degree angle is not, not inappropriate. So here we see a BT. Take him out with one shot just because that's how we roll. And you saw that we snapped our armor too about a 45 degree angle to him real quick when we saw him. Here we go. We're at more than 45, but he is not able to pen. We put one right through the weak spot in his armor. And as you can see, because it's a complex armor angle, I'm able to punch through. Now, I am able to get a weak penetration through that side armor when I aim at the least angled spot. So I go ahead and go for that again. But you see the transmission also eats those rounds. So here's that little baby tank destroyer with the 37. I think it's freaking adorable. I love French tank doctrine. They made the most cute tanks. And you can tell that Hotchkiss on Hotchkiss action is going to take a while to conclude. But if you aim for the right spots, all you got to do is take out one guy. Now, if you're head on with the enemy, which, again, you should never have your armor facing flat on toward the enemy. But if they're flat on toward you, just aim for that driver port. You'll take out the driver, and that will take out the tank unless they have uh, the crew whatever it's called <laughs> um, retrieve retreating crew member option and uh, here look at this situation he's directly behind me he gets the jump on me but because I angled he wasn't able to pen my rear armor and now we're moving we're staying mobile because there's a very small you can see it there very small weak spot in the frontal armor that's not even it doesn't even really show up on the damage model very well I looked at it in the hangar and I was like that's where the weak spot is but it's a very small weak spot in the turret there's a couple of small weak spots in the armor and if you keep moving in arcade people are gonna have a hard time lining up that shot so that's another thing to do and here we are just king of the mountain we took the capture point and we are just setting ourselves here as an immovable tiny adorable french barrier uh <laughs> don't make me say that again um and we're just having a blast in this tank and that's the thing about rank one rank one should be fun 
and it should also be the first introduction to the tank doctrine of your nation. And in that regard, the Hotchkiss is a great uh, tank for that because you're going to be learning strategy that you will use for French heavies throughout the rest of the game. At 4.7 they have the Sherman Jumbo which is similar but not the same to the strategy you want to use for this little guy. The Jumbo you want to absolutely absolutely not angle. Um, but other than that they're fairly similar. Good armor that you can actually rely on in the right circumstances and against the right enemies. So you want to know who's capable of penning your armor and mitigate that danger. And then a gun that's completely underwhelming but reasonably powerful if it does pen. And with the buff to AP rounds, that's solid shot AP, not APCR, which I think is still a bit underpowered, but that's neither here nor there. With the buff to AP, especially in arcade, even the... I think this has a 30, it says 75 millimeter. Yeah, if that's 75 millimeters, then, uh, then, well, <laughs> my world is a lie. I, I might be a, an inches using American, but that just doesn't seem right to me. Um, where was I? So at this point, we're looking at the... I guess you would call this medium range capabilities of this gun and they're not stellar but we were able to punch through the 40 millimeter plate on that enemy Hotchkiss or maybe he has the 30, 35 I think frontal armor that the standard tech tree one has I'm not sure what he's rocking right now but now you see that we put one in his turret ring and it failed to even take out the yeah guppy are you having fun <laughs> yeah, you got some cables there. Yeah. yeah. Mommy doesn't want you chewing on those. But Mommy's not here right now. Don't watch this video, babe. Uh, <laughs> uh, where was I? It's just USB cables. She's she's not chewing on them either. She's just looking at them. Being super pleased. Okay, now she's chewing on them. Come here, Guppy. Come here, Guppy. Yeah. Give that to Daddy. Good job. Did you get into all of Mommy's stash? Yeah. So, Tank Mom has this stash of stuff that she's going to get to eventually. Magazines and mail and, and, you know, all the stuff that she plans to do with her time before she falls into a coma at night because she works really hard and then needs all the sleep she can get. Anyway, um, the baby just got into her stash and, hey, I took that. Yeah, that's for daddy. Um, but we were talking about French tanks, right? This thing is like a little baby. It's so adorable. Um, and the little panda decal on the back looks even more cute on there. And have I mentioned that we're just, like, tearing through everybody that comes to our location? Now, you know that's not going to last. Eventually, my team's not doing very well. Um, so I'm going to experience that, that, that arcade mechanic where toward the end of the match you know who's going to win because they just have a massive number of tanks and we're going to get outnumbered and overwhelmed but that's not yet even though it's coming inevitably and you see that the steward has a surprising amount of survivability against this tank because it has so many crew members and the Stuart, in addition, has a very capable 37mm anti-tank gun that has better pen than my gun. Uh, the, the M5 is a good little tank. I've always enjoyed... Well, I can't say I've always enjoyed it. I used to be a noob. I used to think that, man, you know, this is stupid. It doesn't have armor that can tank everything. Uh, you know, I wish I had... I wish I had a Panzer. Oh, guys, say goodbye to Hotchkiss. He was so brave. My little mountain goat baby tank. He really, he really gave it his all, but eventually you just face overwhelming numbers. And that's, uh, you know, historically accurate, I suppose. The German tanks were considered technologically inferior to the French tanks at the time of World War II by many people, but 
their tank doctrine was superior because instead of spreading their tanks out evenly along a wide front as though you're fighting World War I again, they focused their tanks into breakthrough groups and were able to sweep through the enemy front line with superior coordination, communication, and utilization of the tools that were available to them. And is this thing going to die? Man, I put a lot of rounds into that enemy fighter. But again, we're in arcade, so we did the honorable thing and slammed into him at the last second. I really did try to pull away. <laughs> but my, my, well, never mind. I just couldn't do it. Now all we have left are a couple of reserve tanks, so I'm not looking forward to facing a Stuart, which can punch through my armor, or an enemy Hotchkiss, which I'm sure to find. And I'm rocking nothing but APCR that goes through about 30 millimeters of armor. And as you know with APCR, once it punches through, it's like it didn't even pin the armor anyway. So we're basically shouting unkind things at enemy tanks and hoping that breaks the morale. <laughs> now the problem is I'm going to be facing off, and I, I use the term facing off here very lightly, <laughs> very, very generously. We're going to be facing off against other French tanks with better armor and uh, the M5 stewards. So... I'm just going to kind of skip all of this. I don't accomplish anything, and all I do is sort of demonstrate the, the lackluster ability of the cannon on this tank. So let's cut to the end. Oh, by the way, check out this adorable French light tank. And say goodbye. <laughs> he did not last very long. And with that, mission failed. But even with a failed mission, we did fairly well. And we got around 3,000 RP for that one. So, all in all, not bad. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, I'm going to be cutting back on content a little bit for the Christmas season. I'm sure I'll have things that I should be doing. Uh, but, Merry Christmas to all of you. Enjoy French tanks, Gaijin's gift to us for the season. And if you haven't bought into the, uh, to the early beta testing, you know what? They'll be coming soon. Get them all their hot. French tanks. Bye-bye.